Hello guys, my name is Marcus from e-commerce DAO and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can use Spocket the dropshipping tool for your dropshipping business. If you're new here, I'm someone who is writing newsletter about e-commerce and dropshipping, how to increase conversion, tips and tricks, new apps on the market, success stories, all of that you're going to find in my newsletter with a link down below in the description so you can join if you want to. And now let me show you how you can use Spocket, uh, what kind of pricing pricing plan you should choose, how to, you know, use it with Shopify, all of that I'm going to show you right now. I'm using uh, like the grow, the starter plan right here. And you can get it also with free trial if you want to, or you can choose the free one. The free one is really limited only because with the free one, you can only search for stuff, but you can't actually use anything or import the product to, sh to your Shopify store. It's just like looking around in a tool. It's like fascinating for me to even uh, see this kind of pro like uh, pricing plan, the free one, only because you can't even use it. So you have to actually get the 14 day free trial for let's say the starter. Now, one thing really important regards uh, Spocket is that with Spocket, you got really expensive items. Like many of them, uh, you have to really search for products that you can like drop ship. They are not going to be high and so expensive. And I'm going to explain you soon what do I mean by that. So when you're going to choose, let's say, try for free, you're going to get it right here in Spocket. Now, you can easily uh, connect your Shopify store with a Spocket when I would come right here, Spocket Shopify, and they got their official application. All right, here, Spocket, use Europe dropshipping. And what you have to do is when you're gonna, I got it already open the app, I got it installed. So we will do just this. And then uh, you will get right here. So first, you're gonna have on the top left, the find products. And what we can find here. So here, when you're gonna register account and everything, uh, you can choose the product. You can see right now, this is like the premium. You're always gonna find a supplier here, a listing cost and retail price. The problem, in my opinion, with this EU US, US products is that, yes, it's going to ship from Europe, it's going to ship from USA, uh, the shipping time is going to be quick and effective, but here's the thing, it's pretty expensive. So right now, uh, you can like, summer tree, 768, like this, sweater top, $71, then Rebel, Pendant block here for $15. I mean, you could get this one from AliExpress for like 0.69. I'm just making things up, but you get the point. And many like faded green churn pattern for as a case for $6.96. And it's like, you can get it so much cheaper, so much cheaper from AliExpress. But it is what it is. You know, it's like ships from Europe, USA. So the prices are different. And now let me show you uh, how you can actually import the products from AliExpress. Let's say that you would like to sell on your Shopify store. So when I go to AliExpress, you have to install an extension called, called Ali Scraper. So when you're going to write to Ali Scraper to Google, you'll get a right here to extension. So you have to install this extension and then we can use it for AliExpress. I'm going to show you how. If I'm going too fast, let me know guys down below in the comments, but I don't personally use the use EU European product. You can do it and search for it for, let's say you're gonna, for kids and babies. But I really want to show it to you how you can do it for uh, the AliExpress product. Because yes, you can always open the product if you want to and add to import list. You can even order samples here and you see right here the shipping time for those products for like United States or for even Canada and worldwide does not ship. But you see infant groans four pack for $32. I'm like, what is this? Want to even, this is like the listing price. Then you have to also sell it, invest to marketing, invest to apps, and then you're going to possible to make money. And this is something that I wanted to mention guys, that dropshipping is one part. You're going to find apps in the down below in the description that you can use uh, to even boost your site, like gem pages for setting the website, making it more beautiful. Then when we go further, you can use uh, Vitals for conversion app, Omniscient, that you're going to find also link down below. And then for profitability, like B Profit, there is an app down below in the description too that I definitely recommend to use 
uh, to calculate the profitability of your dropshipping store. And the last thing is Track123. You're going to find a link also there. Track123 is an amazing tool that you, can, that you can have that customers can come and track their own orders, right? That's a great thing to have. So they're not going to continue contact you all the time. And now let's continue with the tutorial. So you're going to install the extension, right? And how does it work and what you have to do? So when you're going to come here, you're going to come to AliExpress. When you're going to come to AliExpress, let's say that we're going to choose uh, this product right here. Or even this one here. You see right here that uh, what we're looking at right now. So these are the Bluetooth headset. And you see, you always want to analyze uh, the seller. And you can see that, okay, he's like 4.7, 4.7, 4.6, the seller ratings. And you always want to find sellers which are above 4.5. Then you're going to have uh, the reviews for the headset or for the product. So you want to always go 4.6 and higher, 4.5 and higher, because you don't want to sell a product which isn't good. And then you're going to have the reviews. So we want to focus on those which are like 100 and plus and those with like 1000 plus sold. So it's legit. So that's what I, for example, always focus on when trying to find the products. Now, when we go further, uh, you want to go on the bottom right and you're going to import to Spocket. Okay. And when you're going to click on the button import to Spocket, you will get right here. And I'm going to be in import list. And then you're going to find the product right here. So what I do then is that I go to chat open a or like chat GBT and I write a, like a product name. I copy it and I write here, make a shorter, more cool version of this product name for Shopify. while sport earbuds bam it's going to get us the best you know or you can get more see and it's going to generate you a great title a great product name then you can add the product tags categories and collections when you're going to go further you're going to have description here and my recommendation is that you can use this but also of use chat open AI, AI that you're gonna write here that write me a product description of but mention their specifics and I'm going to write here these are the specifications okay and now when you have it in a chat open eye, I'm going to just paste it. And then it's going to write you a really nice description for the product. And now important thing to know that I would definitely recommend to double check it if it's all right for you. But let's say that it is, I'm just going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it to my description here. And then I would just copy the specifics from, uh, from here, right? And now comes the like really important thing and it's variants. <clears throat> so when you're going to have variants here, the one thing that I don't really like, but I understand it is that how much price they put. How much price they put up, right? So you can see right here that this is a 6.94. And you see the cost is 18.44, right? And uh, for me, it's like, okay, but yes, it's like 61% off. I don't know for how long, but if I have like different products here, like view product here, and this is like 61 euro, etc., you see the big difference here. So this is $16 and right now it's welcome deal 4.99, but here they ask like 68 euro for it. I'm like, what? So you just really have to find products uh, on which they don't put too much cost, too much um, like price increase. And when you're going to have it, you just have to increase and edit the prices, right? The profit margin, let's say you want to have 50%. 
or even we want to have like 80% here. So it's like 14 to 75, but let's say sales price is going to be together, let's say 45, whatever. I mean, I don't know who's going to buy it for 45, but let's see. Then you're going to find images here. Important things to know about images, guys, is that you have to find some optimization for the images. You don't want to just have it uh, for, you know, having the same image size as comparing to AliExpress only because the loading page is going to be uh, pretty long. So what you want to do is to download some image optimizer. A link is down below also in the description. You're going to find it and just optimize it. Now, when you will have it, everything you want to click here push to store when you're going to click push to store it will automatically appear here in products under uh, import list and right now it's loading so here we have it and what i can do is i can click view on store and here we got it so a person can choose black white blue uh, pink I can add it to cart and I can see it right here and I can check out. Now, when someone is going to make an order, I'm going to show you how it looks like. So someone is going to make an order for your product. You're going to find orders right here. What you have to do then is just, you're going to have like, okay, unit cost, check out that supplier AliExpress status unpaid. And you have to click here, like checkout. And then you will get directly and to uh, like AliExpress. That's how it works. Now I wanted to also show you the winning products here uh, that you would have here, like Ninja, Ninja Dragons. And let's say you can go price low to high. So you see the card here. And you even see that, like, here is the shipping for every single product and it's like up to you which one you want to choose but I'm just curious if I can see from the China this product right here and I'm going to search for it I'm very curious if I can find it on uh, also AliExpress like this And this is it. Look at the price here. Look at the price here. So we're gonna have double double price. And this is Alibaba. So I can go also to AliExpress and see the price. It's five dollars. Okay. So we have to really good do a lot of digging to uh, find products. Processing time is six business days. This is listing price six dollars. Here it's for if you can have like multiple pieces, even two point thirty nine. And it's also more expensive. So I can always search for stuff here, and I could even find a much cheaper options. But if when you're gonna search for uh, the products, you can always find a new and new. Stores. So for example, this is for $15.95, right? And here, if you drop shit the product, you have to go at least for $20. But it depends, like, what is your profitability in way? So let's say I'm going to buy it now and let's see if this is a Shopify store. View cart. Yeah, I don't know if this is a Shopify. But yeah, but this is like complete AliExpress products so if you can have any questions guys let me down in the comments i'll be really happy to help you yeah this is a shopify theme custom one and these are their apps they're using <coughs> interesting and they have their own page builder with gem pages okay so that's how we're gonna do it and then you're gonna have also the private label here 
and then image search that you can search product by image if you want to. Now, if you can have any questions, guys, let me down below in the comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and feedback. Uh, to be honest, I don't know if those winning products here are really worth it to drop. So because this, the best strategy you can be, and I'm going to share right now, is to focus on building a brand that people can follow and buy regularly from you. That you're going to be different comparing to everybody else. I know that it's like a get rich quick scheme that you know you're gonna drop ship whatever thing that you're gonna find on aliexpress but the truth is the game has changed comparing to let's say 10 years ago so i'm going to uh, share with you some examples that we build up <clears throat> here in europe so the first one uh e-commerce store that is generating about 50 to 70k in revenue on us uh, here central europe slovakia was a guy my friend who went to the island in Greece, and he bought their bicycle mastica. It's called. It's like a something that is healing a stomach from Helicobacter pylori. It's like a bug in the stomach, and they can't say that it's like completely healing it, but they get like 99% of succeed. And this is not like a scam or anything. They got like a lot of good reviews, and they just do do only that, nothing else. They got all the articles, everything about it. Then the next thing <clears throat> that I have built with and helped with. Uh, was uh, like selling a one type of tree. Imagine that. So my friend went to Serbia and he went there to buy a tree that he came back with like, I don't know, 500 pieces to try it out, to test it out. So he made a site. He started writing articles. They, there was only one competitor on Google. Imagine that, one competitor. And then we set up in a fair, you uh, know, like gardening fair, we had our own stand and we were selling this type of tree. We made about two, three thousand in one weekend. So it was like 1.5, like 3,000 in revenue, 1.5 to 2K in profitability. Crazy, really crazy. And then we such a made a good name for the product that people are regularly buying it that it's generating about two to 4K a month. But my friend wants to sell it because he doesn't want to take care of it anymore. But imagine how easy it is. Like, if you're going to really just build a brand, provide value to people. Like, if you don't just run to get rich quick, you will win. <laughs> That's how it is. So, Spocket for me is a tricky one. You need to really try to search for a good product. Only because then, like, it's just not that great. And uh, pricing for products are just expensive. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you're going to have a great day and see you and goodbye.